Hi, I'm Shona and this is the U News iPhone 3G Roundup. Well, WWDC 08 has come and gone, but the hype surrounding the new iPhone is refusing to go away. Unsurprisingly, rumours about a 3G GPS-enabled iPhone were right on the money, and talking of money, whispers of a price drop were also well-placed. But I know all you really want to see is the unveiling, so here it is. Today we're introducing the iPhone <laughs> The same gorgeous 3.5 inch display, camera, flush headphone jack, so you can use any headphones you like, improved audio, dramatically improved audio, and the iPhone 3G is 36% faster than the Nokia N95 or the Treo 750. It now sells for $399 for an 8-gig iPhone. And we want to make it even more affordable. And I'm really happy to tell you that the iPhone 3G is going to sell for $199. And that's for the 8-gig model. The 16-gig model, just $299. We're going to be rolling out the iPhone 3G at the same time in all of these countries and we're rolling it out on July 11th. <laughs> July 11th. So while the dust from Steve Jobs' keynote presentation settles, let's see how everyone's reacting on the blogs. Let's talk about software first of all. As expected, a revamped system has been unveiled for the iPhone 3G, which promises a smoother interface and a few new features. Those with an original iPhone will be glad to hear that this software will be made available to them as well. But reaction to this has been mixed on the blogosphere. In fact, it seems some of you are a little underwhelmed by the number of changes made to the phone. The number of frustrated comments about the same old camera and the lack of a copy and paste tool are mounting. And of course, there's the continuing issue of network exclusivity. That means that legions of you are simply waiting for the jailbreakers to do their stuff. And if at the end of all this hype you've decided you can't be bothered with an iPhone at all, then you may be in luck. Bloggers are confidently predicting a price drop for the iPod Touch in the very near future. So some of you might be a little nonplussed with this new polished Apple, but it looks like iPhone sales are still going to be pretty fruitful come the 11th of July. That's it from me. More later. Thank you.